everybody. Well, <clears throat> got on my, got, we were getting the kids ready for school. We're on our way. Um, very sunny this morning. <laughs> kind of hard to see. Um, yeah, sometimes I wish there was ways that like I could maybe tint my front window so that it wasn't so uh, blaring in my eyes. But I don't think it's illegal. <laughs> I don't think that's legal. Um, Charlie, we got going on. Uh, this weekend we got uh, something for Aiden's Boy Scout going on. What do we got going on? Um, you what? Boy Scout banquet. Boy Scout banquet. What's that theme of that banquet? Uh, superheroes. superheroes. What are you being? Batman. Being what? Batman. Is that how you say it? No. How do you say it? Batman. No, you say it. Batman. 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 I am Batman. 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 And what? And what? I'm gonna be Wonder Woman. And you're gonna be Wonder Woman. Yeah, All right. Wonder and what? Woman. And what are we doing on Friday? What are you doing on Friday, Aiden? Building my Pinewood Derby. Building the Pinewood Derby card. Now, unfortunately, I'm usually working, so I don't get the chance to do that with him. Plus, I mean, I mean, I'm not the best builder of things. I mean, it's not something I'm great at. I mean, I can, I can do it. I've done. But I want you to but, um, help me build. I can help. You can help me build my castle. I can help build your castle. I can I said, with the Legos. With the Legos, yeah. So yeah. For what Aiden's going to do is he's going to go what hang out with his, uh, his Jeep, uh, who's very good at building and builds uh, tables and all kinds of other uh, antique furniture and stuff like that. So he definitely knows what he's doing and he's done a Pinewood Derby before, obviously, because he did one when he was a boy, I believe, and I believe... Uh, when, uh, when his when uh, he and his uncle Chris was a little boy, so he knows what he's doing. So there, he's gonna go hang out with him for a little while, and they're gonna build the derby car. I will make sure I get get a big picture of that for you guys. I unfortunately won't get a video either of the Pinewood Derby itself, since I am actually working at the time of the derby. But I'll see if uh, my fellow co-parent can possibly um, give me some videos, and maybe I can send him along uh, with this video and stuff like that. And you guys can check it out. See what the See what the race looks like, see what his car looks like and everything like that. It'd be pretty cool, don't you think? You guys, if you guys want to see that, please, man, give me a thumbs up. I mean, I'd love to hear from you guys. If you guys ever done Pinewood Derbies, which you guys have done. Hey, don't turn it off yet. I'm not turning it off yet. I'm going to show them. What are you telling them? Oh, St. Patrick's Day cereal. Yes. <laughs> I was like, no pa pa Patrick's Day cereal. Okay. St. Patrick's. What she's talking about is Lucky Charms. Yes, I like it. Okay. I'm going to like it. <coughs> we'll see if we can get some Lucky Charms since St. Patrick's Day is coming up. I said, we'll, we'll see if we can get some. So we'll see if we can get I'm some. I'm just going to like eat like the marshmallows. <laughs> no, you're going to just eat the marshmallows. Was it yesterday, Wednesday? Yesterday was Wednesday, yes. Tornado drive at school. Cool. Alright, everybody. Well, I'm off to work. Um, didn't get to do any of the uh, science like I was hoping to do when I got home. I kind of did a little bit of cleaning up and stuff and <coughs> left it at that. Um, but as you guys have all known at, at this point, if you guys have been watching these videos, I always like when these national days come up. I always like to look up the national days and I don't always remember to do it, but when I do, I always love looking up national days. I love seeing what the national day is. Because there's always like, some are like two or three, some are like nine different national days. Which is today. Today is like a nine different national days today. But the three that I want to point out that today is, today is National Chili Day. And the fact that it is very cold and extremely windy today here is perfect for National Chili Day. Uh, so it's, it's National Chili Day. So, you know, you guys go out, get some chili for lunch, chili for dinner. It's that, it's that day to do it, guys. It's also National Toast Day, so hopefully in the morning, this morning, maybe some of you guys had some toast and you didn't even know it, and you were celebrating National Toast Day. But also, toast goes so good with chili. 
So National Toast Day and National Chili Day, so good together. The other day that I was really interested in is actually National Kahlua Day. So, everyone loves a little bit of Kahlua. So, I mean, you guys are having that coffee today or maybe you're at work? Dump a little Kahlua in there, man. It's the National Day. Tell the boss. It's National Kahlua Day. So, you got National Chili Day, National Toast Day, and National Kahlua Day today. It is those awesome days. And I'm definitely going to see if I can celebrate at least a few of them at least. I probably can celebrate all three. Um... Definitely get some chili and some toast and definitely get some Kahlua. I definitely might be doing that a little bit later today. Um, also, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it is the start of the <coughs> NFL Combine and scouting for the drafts because that is coming up soon for all the college players. Um, <coughs> a lot of big names, a lot of quarterbacks, you know, as always, you know, in the talks of things. But something that did absolutely amaze me, uh, just kind of blew my mind, was uh, the Alabama quarterback, uh, Tua. I'm not really sure how to say his last name, so I'm going to call him Tua T. Tua T has uh, the school record for the most passing touchdowns. That is mind-boggling to me because Alabama's not a slouch school. It is a very good college football school, and the fact that he has the most in the history of the college passing touchdowns is remarkable. Um, I mean, I mean, it possibly. I mean, I'm not saying definitely. It could possibly mean he is, you know, definitely a NFL ready quarterback and could be, you know, whoever picks him up, a potential MVP. Maybe bring them to the Super Bowl. I mean, that is just, as I said, amazing, a remarkable, phenomenal stat that you play for such a prestigious college and you have the most passing touchdowns. That means a lot. I mean, it's not like he's playing for like a little, you know. Smaller college, and it's like, oh yeah, hey, get those fit. Nah, man, you're playing one of the national championship teams over years that we've had. That is the most passing touchdowns. That is crazy. So I mean, anybody who's an Alabama, you know, fan, you know, rest to you for having such a great quarterback. And I'm sorry that you're gonna be losing your great quarterback, but that's just crazy. Um, <coughs> oh man, so I got a little tickle in my throat there. Um, I don't think what else we got going. Is it got Pine, Bur uh, Pine Box Derby going for Aiden tomorrow? So I gotta figure out what me and the baby girl are gonna do because I'm gonna pick him up from school. I'm gonna drive him over to uh, his G Paws. They're gonna do the car, do the car stuff, and then me, baby girl, we're gonna do our own uh, thing because the uh, Philico parents got a special dinner with some of her girlfriends and stuff. So she's gonna go out and do that. So I gotta figure out something me and the baby girl can do. Uh, possibly thinking of maybe getting a pizza or something, getting a pizza, some calamari, just kind of chilling out. We'll just chill out, eat pizza, play Barbies, and do whatever else she's interested in doing. Um, could be, which could be a, a million other things. There are days that she wants to, you know, play Doc McStuffins on me. There's days that she wants to just beat me up. So we'll see, we'll, we'll see what we got going on for us. But it is actually, besides being very, very cold and very, 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 very windy, it's actually a pretty nice day out. It's very sunny out, so that, that is a good thing. Definitely got to get rid of all the clouds and the rain and all the other gook that was going on. Um, <coughs> but I am almost at work, so I will probably see you guys in a little bit. But as I say, guys, number one, don't forget, it is National Chili Day, so get that chili out there. National Toast Day, bring it with your, with your chili. Let's have a little toast. It's also National Clue Day, so I mean, put a little bit in your coffee, man. A little bit. If you're drinking a little chocolate milk, put a little clue in there. You know what I'm going to know. Also, guys, don't forget, as always, man, subscribe, subscribe, please, guys. Give me some thumbs up. And please, guys, comment, man. I love seeing you guys commenting. It was, it gave, I love the commenting back and forth between each other. Um, whether it be good or bad, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm very, I got very thick skin. I can make bad comments. So, um, But I will definitely see you guys all a little later. Hope you guys have a super rest of the days. Good night. All right, good evening, everybody. Well, on my way home from work. Uh, pretty pretty decent night tonight, but uh, I had a little question kind of rise up, and I was kind of just curious. How many times can one person miss an opportunity and before he start being called a fool or just, like, start, you know, thought it was just being a very unlucky person? I mean, how many times can that one person have a missed opportunity at something before he's considered a fool or just a very unlucky person. I just love to hear from you guys what your opinion on that is. Like how many times? Um, <clears throat> say, <clears throat> man, 
it's a definitely a decent night i hope you guys all had good uh chili days hope you guys all enjoyed your chili uh hope you guys if you had a chance to put some kalu in those coffees hope you guys all enjoyed that um definitely uh still very cold out um We'll see what tomorrow's gonna bring for us because I was gonna try to maybe climb into my pool and uh, empty some of the rainwater since all this rain we've had lately and start filling my pool back up. So I was gonna see if I could drain that out, but I really don't feel like climbing in if it's like, you know, 20 degree water because it's gonna be up to my waist at least. Um, but I hope you guys had super nights uh, and I hope I'll see you guys all tomorrow morning. And don't forget, guys, subscribe, click that bell icon, give me the thumbs up, and please, guys, comment. All right, night, guys.